Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a 3 high piston door with lock. A bunch of people in my Let's Play series wanted me to do a tutorial on it. Neither know there is already a bunch of bunch of videos already on YouTube uh, about the same thing, but I suppose I'm going to add mine to the list. So, first off what we want to do is we want to place three sticky pistons on top of each other. One, two, three. Now, from there we want to count four blocks, one, two, three, four. On the fifth block we want to add three more sticky pistons facing the other three sticky pistons as so. And uh, then we're going to get out our redstone torch and we're going to place the redstone torch at the back of the first sticky piston on both sides. Okay, so then you're going to get a block of your choice. I'm using cobblestone and we're going to place that on top of the redstone torch on both sides. Okay, now we're going to get out our redstone itself and we're going to be put placing that on top of the cobblestone block on both sides. Okay, so it should be looking like that so far. Very easy and simple. Okay, so now we're going to lay our pressure plates down the things that we're going to be standing on to make the dolls work. Okay, so we're going to come into the middle here and we're going to dig down two. And we're also going to dig out two on both sides. So we're going to dig all those four blocks out and we're going to dig these four blocks out. So it should be looking like that. You should, you should be able to stand underneath the sticky pistons on both sides, which is great. Okay, so also we're going to, where the pressure plates are, uh, underneath that we're going to dig it out one like that so that's just to lay the redstone in so we do trigger it and we're going to place redstone like that okay so now for the lock uh, the locking bit of the actual piston door we're going to add a redstone repeater on both sides just here now this here you can ignore this bit if you didn't want a lock on your door so you can just skip that bit completely but since this is a tutorial I'm doing a three high piston door with lock we're going to be doing this way so after that we're going to be adding a cobblestone well a block of your choice but I'm using cobblestone on the opposite side of the redstone repeater and then we're going to be adding redstone itself on top of those blocks okay so that is looking good. Now if we step on the plates, it should work. So, it's working fantastically. So pretty much you could, um, uh, you can pretty much cover that up now and you can put your door in if you like. Which I'm just using the nice dark wood because so, it looks like a door. So, lovely. Now let's cover the uh, lock part of it. So which side you want your lock on, it doesn't really matter. So all we want to do is we want to expose this repeater here and we want to get another redstone repeater facing that redstone repeater and place it like that. And we want to do the same with the other opposite side. It's so simple. There we go. And all you have to do is... Um, Join up those two with redstone, like so. Don't don't go too close to, to, to that itself because you can accidentally connect it up. You don't want that. Just make a nice U way away from the actual redstone for the uh, doors themselves. And then all you want to do is run that redstone pull anywhere you want the switch. Now I'm just going to run it up the side here and place a block on top like so and um, um, put a lever in. So, let me just put cover all this back up so you, 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 you're not really meant to see the redstone. But um, if you hit the switch here, the piston doors will not work because of the redstone current here is cancelling that signal out. So it will not work. But as soon as you switch it off, and the current's gone, it's going to let the current through. So, okay. See, that's how simple this is. Very, very simple. 
Um, yeah, so as soon as you hit it, turns on both, it won't open. And now it will open. Okay, so that's how simple this piston, this uh, three high piston door with lock is. Now you can run this, uh, this here anywhere you want. You, you know, you don't have to have it here, but uh, it's just an example. You, you could um, even like put it like this. Alright, so you can put it like that, doesn't matter. You put it anywhere you want. Yeah. Alright. So I think that pretty much covers our three high piston door with lock. There we go. Made it look a bit more like a um <laughs> like a, uh, a a base entrance or something. And we could even add some um torches in if you like. There you go. So yeah. All right, guys. I hope you hope this informed you on how to build this simple three-high piston door with lock. And um, I'll catch you all later.